Hey, this is John from TheNetGuy.com, and this is the Dell Optiplex 9020. It is the fastest machine that you can get for under $200, and it will blow the doors off some of the machines you get at the big box stores. You're going to save some money because you're going to refurbish it yourself. Stick around and find out how and how fast this thing really is. So what's the story here? A couple of weeks ago, my brother-in-law asked me, what's the best machine I can get for my family? I've got five kids, so I can't spend too much extra money on hardware, and I don't like to throw money away. So I told him about the Dell 9020 Small Form Factor and Mid Tower. These machines came out between 2014 and 2015. They are corporate machines. Some of them, like this one, even actually have a warranty remaining. You can pick them up on eBay for around $100, and by adding a solid state hard drive, you can get some very impressive performance numbers out of them. They play games, as you can see, but they're also great for the rest of the family. So why do I like the Dell 9020? First, they have plenty of memory available to them. There are up to 32 gigabytes of memory can be installed, and it's the cheaper memory that you can get from OfferUp and Craigslist and eBay and other places that people are usually upgrading from. They have i3, i5, and i7 Intel quad-core processors. These processors are very fast. If you think about processors as grocery store checkout lines, a single core processor is like having one checkout lane. And the number is how fast people go through. So at 2.8 gigahertz is going to allow a certain amount of people through that single checkout line. These machines have 3.2, 3.3, 3.4, and even 3.6 gigahertz processors, and there's four lanes. So that means many, many more processes can go through, which makes them incredibly fast. They're also from Dell, a trusted name in PC computing, and they're designed for business. They're great for business use, but they're even better at home. With USB 3 and the fast processor, you can even use them for video game capture for your YouTube channel. These machines also come in two sizes. There's the small form factor you see here, and then there's the mid tower like we built. The mid tower offers you additional room if you want to add a gaming graphics card to it, and additional room for hard drives and other upgrades. The small form factor, on the other hand, fits great inside a business, they can fit under a counter, they can fit vertically or horizontally like a traditional computer. So how do you choose which Dell 9020 is right for you? If you want the performance and high speed, I would recommend going with the i7 processor version. These are indicated by the i7-4770 designation or the i7-4790 designation. If processing power is not what you're after and just reliability and cost, I would go with the i5-4570 or i5-4590. Both are great processors. This one happens to have the i5-4570. Lastly, they come with a legal upgradable copy to Windows 10. This operating system is great for families and it's very safe and secure if you're on the internet. So where do you buy these? I tend to get them from two places, OfferUp or eBay. The advantage of using OfferUp is that the sellers are all rated. Unlike Craigslist, where you don't know who you're buying from, people on OfferUp tend to have and want to keep good reputations. So they're gonna give you a good deal and it's gonna be what they say it is. Additionally, there's no tax if you're buying secondhand in most states. So when you purchase this, you get it for the price you pay, and if you're a good negotiator, you can do a little bit of haggling. Lastly, there's local pickups. So if you're interested in getting the system in the next day or two and you don't want to wait for shipping, offer up people are usually eager to meet with you and take your money. The second source that I like for these is eBay. eBay has rated sellers just like OfferUp with good feedback. So you can see a history of how this person has sold in the past and if they're selling legitimate products. Secondly, eBay has buyer protection. Unlike OfferUp, if you get home and this machine isn't exactly what you wanted, there's no way to send it back. With PayPal and eBay's buyer protection, if the machine is not exactly what they said it was going to be, 
you can send it back and get all of your money back eBay offers a very wide selection. If you keep an eye out, you can usually pick these up for a great deal and you can have it alert you when a new one is posted. These machines excel in three different areas. One, for just casual gaming, like Minecraft, yes. Fortnite, no. So if your kids are looking for something that can play competitively with the Xbox One, get them an Xbox One. If you're looking for something that can play strategy games, things that can play Minecraft and other titles that were current back in 2013, 2014, this machine is more than capable. If you add an additional graphics card, you can actually play some of the more recent games and first person shooters with higher settings. With Windows Defender protecting you from any viruses, malware, and spyware, you can safely use this computer online and with Chrome browser, you can surf YouTube, you can surf web pages, and you can generally use the internet. This machine is also great for productivity. If you install Microsoft Office, you can use it for Word, Excel, PowerPoint. You can also use it for the kids' homework. There are other versions of Office available, sometimes even free, that I'll tell you about in a future video. Lastly, you can install QuickBooks, QuickIn, or other business productivity programs and you can use these for finance and accounting. With the included DVD drive and enough storage, you can use these as a home media server. What does that mean? That means that you can encode your DVD collection onto the system, and using a tool called Plex, you can play from your Xbox or other smart television videos that you have collected over time. This is a great way to dust off that DVD collection and have those movies that aren't available on Netflix or Prime. So let's recap how much we spent on this build. I purchased the machine on eBay for $119. Through a small discrepancy in the ad, the processor wasn't the one that the seller had listed. I contacted them and he actually refunded me 10% of my purchase price or $12. So I'm gonna take that off of the top and the total spent on the machine was $107. Next, I found a monitor on OfferUp. If you can, find a monitor with an HDMI interface. I like Samsung monitors, and this Samsung 23-inch monitor also acts as a television and can play movies. This Samsung monitor was $25. I installed a solid-state hard drive. This is very easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a future video. The solid-state hard drive was $21. This allows the machine to unlock its full performance potential. You can also pick up a keyboard and mouse. I recommend always getting a new keyboard and mouse and a new hard drive with a used machine. These are the two things that one, you're going to touch and use all the time when you interact with the machine, and two, they're going to store your files. A wireless keyboard and mouse is available from Amazon.com for $21. So the total cost was $107 for the machine, $25 for the monitor, $21 for the keyboard and mouse, and $21 for the solid state hard drive. So the total is $174. This is not an under $200 machine, it's under $175. I actually used a little bit of the extra money that we had and I upgraded to a fancier ergonomic keyboard and a larger SSD drive. You can do both of those as well and usually keep it under $200. So how incredibly fast is this thing? The machine is off right now. And from when the Windows logo starts, I'm going to start counting. We'll see how long it takes to get started. And here we go. Monitors up Windows 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000. Five seconds into Windows. So what are some other ways that you can save when building this machine? First, you can get Microsoft Office, possibly through your employer, with a home use program. Or, if you have kids that are in school, or if you yourself are in school, you can usually get an educational discount. Second, if you don't have the money for a monitor right now, this computer can connect to most small televisions and most large televisions. So I hope you like this introduction and overview of the Dell 9020 Optiplex. If you'd like to see more in this video series, take a look at the description below and I'll have a list of all of the videos that are available.
Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of my video. If you liked what you saw here, do me a solid, hit the like button down below. If you really want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want YouTube to actually let you know they're there, hit the bell. I would love to show you some more items. We've got upcoming videos on home automation, how to use Alexa, and other really cool tips and technology tricks for real people. Thanks again, and check out links to these other videos you might like.